Hey y'all, welcome back to Living Gratefully. I have a few updates to share and my friend Mary, I haven't been able to see her in a while and um, she checked on me the other day. She was texting and said, you know, I follow all your updates on YouTube, but I haven't seen anything lately. How are you doing? So it made me think I better get on here and give you guys another update because I have been so excited about a few things. So let's get started. So yeah, I am, um, I think I mentioned, you know, that I'm off of the tramadol. That was the narcotic I was taking for pain. There was a time, I've been thinking a lot about like little things that I have, um, like stages that I've been through. And there was a stage when I was taking tramadol and Advil and Tylenol on top of that. And you're not supposed to do that, but that's how much pain I was in. And I'm not on anything now. I'm completely off um, all medic medicines as far as pain and I'm so thankful and the phosphorus is helping me so much I'm taking phosphorus and calcitriol I call it calcitriol but I think it's called calcitriol um, both of those medicines are helping me so that I don't have to let me put this up it's getting hot okay I think that I think that's better. Whew, it's getting hot. My phone's probably getting hot. Anyway, um, I am like so doing so much better with pain. We had the genetics test. I thought it was gonna, that's where I did the swab on my cheek and sent that in in the mail. It's pretty easy, but I thought it was gonna take three or four weeks, three or four weeks to get the results back, but it was only, I don't know, like a week and a half. We got the results like two days ago. They are negative. So if they were positive, then we could go ahead and get started on the monthly injection. That stuff is not cheap. I've been researching it. It is not cheap, but um, that would be like, you know, insurance would cover it. If it was genetic, then it would go straight to the medicine, I think. And then, but since it's not genetic, there's more testing that needs to be done. Um, it may be tumor induced osteomalacia and they need to find the tumor by doing like a special PET scan. They need to see if they can remove the tumor. And then if not, then we would do the medicine. So there's a lot more time left as far as, you know, getting down to the diagnosis, but we've ruled out a lot of things. And in the meantime, I'm so thankful for no pain. So I can do so many more things now that I couldn't do before. Um, pretty soon I'll be able to get rid of the, well, hopefully I don't, I want to hang on to it just in case like I go backtrack when I get on the medicine, you know, as far as like go backwards and then have some time where I need the handicap sticker, but I'm not using it very much now. I just park in regular parking spots and I'm able to go up and down the steps and it's such, it, it just feels like I'm, you know, more normal and it feels so good. So at work, I've been taking the elevator ever since I started this job. Well, ever since I've been, you know, dealing with this pain and now I'm not taking the elevator, I'm taking the steps. So, um, yeah. It's so good and I can turn over in bed and I can bend over and pick up things without the grabber I can change the laundry without the grabber I don't know you guys um, I don't know how long y'all been following me but I have it I used to have a cleaning channel where I <laughs> cleaned for YouTube videos and it got to the point where I had to do um, I had to use the grabber for a lot of things and I couldn't do as much and then I ended up just stopping that channel because it was just so hard to keep up with all of that um and then i did a lot i started doing here on this channel i started doing a ton of car videos because it's just easier to sit and not be walking around and yeah i'd be getting my um i don't know if you guys have seen them but i used to get the walmart pickup and then go over everything that i got in the car with you because i couldn't like I, it was it was just so hard to even go grocery shopping it was so hard to even go shopping um and then carrying stuff in the house, I would just be like, you know, Scott would carry it in the house for me. So instead of like carrying in the house, him carrying in the house and then me setting up the camera and uh, anyway, that's why I switched to car videos. And so now, now I just like to give you guys updates because it's so exciting. All this news. Another awesome thing that's happening is Taylor is graduating from college next week. So it is 
it's just making us proud. We're so excited for her. She's so happy to, she wants to be a teacher and she's already got a few interviews lined up um, at different schools. So teaching is such a hard job and I just admire her for doing that. And she's been wanting to do that since she was little and it's like her dream is gonna come true. So I'm, just, I'm gonna start crying, I better stop. Um, let's see, what was the other thing I was gonna tell y'all? I think that might be it. I can't think of it. If I think of anything else, I'll come back on here and let you know. Thank you for being here. Thanks for always um, wanting to know what's going on. And thank you for your prayers. Over the last two and a half years, it has been so amazing to me. The friends that I've met through YouTube, the kind people that have been following me and praying for me from a distance, all of my friends here in town, praying for me, praying for us, our family. Um, we've gone through some tough times, but God is good and I'm so thankful for him. He is amazing and prayers are being answered. So I hope y'all have a great day.